Uh, excuse me. Are you Mr. Morley? Yes, I am. Uh, my name is Robert Manning. Well, please come in, Mr. Manning. Thank you. Sit down, won't you? I'm afraid you had a bit of a wasted journey, Mr. Manning. As I told you on the telephone this morning, I don't know your brother, and he certainly never stayed in this house. I wondered if you could help me with this. As you can see, it's written on your notepaper and dated ten days ago. Well, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Manning. I, uh, I can't explain it. Well, thank you anyway. Hope I haven't been too much trouble. Certainly not. No trouble at all. I'm sorry I couldn't have been in more help. Tell me, is there a hotel in the village? No, there isn't a hotel. There's a pub, though, the Red Lion. I think I'll stay tonight and have a look around tomorrow. Um, do they have rooms there, do you know? Well, they do, but they're a bit primitive. As a matter of fact, I don't think you'll get in anyway. This is our one big night of the year here. However, I've got a better idea. Why don't you come and stay with us here? Are you sure it wouldn't be too much trouble? Of course. Elder. This gentleman will be staying tonight. Well, that's fine. We'll see you later at dinner. Yes, yeah. lovely. This is a very special night for us in this part of the world. The locals take it very seriously. I thought Guy Fawkes was the traditional night for burning. In other parts of England, it is. But then only we have Lavinia. Lavinia? Yes, the Black Witch of Greymarsh. She was my great aunt, seven, eight, nine times removed. Does, uh, does that make you a witch as well? It's not wise to joke about such matters. The devil is not exactly noted for his sense of humor, and he never sleeps. John, why on earth didn't you come to dinner? Oh, shall we say an unexpected obstacle arose? Eve, my dear? Oh, Mr. Manning, I'd like you to meet Professor Marsh. John, this is Robert Manning. Mr. Manning has come here to trace his brother. Yes, my brother Pete, although Trace is uh, putting it a bit strongly. I'm just looking for him. I thought he might be around here somewhere, probably in the village. Probably came down to make a mockery of our ceremony, too. No, I don't think so. Although, from what I've heard, it does sound a little absurd. Really? Well, let me tell you, young man, in spite of it sounding a little absurd to you, Lavinia's influence has spanned the centuries. Many people have died mysteriously, horribly. But there's always been a link between those who burned the vineyard and those who died. And there will be more. Well. Oh, uh, good night, Professor. It's been very interesting talking to you. We shall meet again.
Eve, dear, you got a moment to spare? Yes, of course. I'd like to have a chat with you. worthy to bear your name. Therefore, I offer you her blood. I suspected he had a split mind. You were the last of the Manning line. The last chance I had to force Maldi to give himself away. 